think uh, alhamdulillah uh, dr sazalin shah is here so uh, we're going to start our session so before we begin the session uh, let us uh, let us uh, have a quick uh, introduction on our speaker today that we have okay everyone uh, we are here today for the first series of webinar sharing ses session on online teaching and learning uh, organized by KAIS. Uh, so the first session today, uh, the one that we are already registered and going to listen is from uh, technologist Dr. Sazalin Shah bin Razali from FTMK. And the session title is Planning Online Lesson, the Learning Design Metrics for an Online Learning Session. So, who is uh, Dr. Sazalin Shah? Okay, uh, let us refer. So, I think most of us has already known uh, Dr. Sazalin Shah. Uh, he is an active person uh, that has contributed much as well, had joined UTEM since 2004. Uh, he also active with uh, our UTEM Academic uh, Association, uh, UTEM ASA. And then uh, he, uh, he has also served uh, FTMK as a a few administration uh, posts, uh, head of department. Uh, so let me see. Uh, Dr. Sazalin uh, is a uh, has has become the head of uh, department. Uh, for the Department of Intelligent Computing and Analytics at FTMK since 2017 till 2019. She has also chairing a few committees at FTMK, uh, FY uh, Final Year and Diploma Project Committee, Chair of Innovation and Commercialization Committee, Chair of Workshop 2 Committee, uh, Acting Department Coordinator, and various small uh, contribution at faculty level. Uh, he has also uh, doing consultation in area expert DBP manuscript evaluation workshop trainer uh, for various uh, professional certificate. He has uh, his PhD is in computer science from Library University UK, and he also a certified rapid minor analyst uh, from uh, rapid minor. So, without further ado, uh, I would like to invite uh, TS Dr. Sazalin Shah uh, to share with us uh, his thought and also. Uh, um, his experience regarding uh, planning online lessons, uh, particularly uh, to for us to know more on how to planning uh, the online session. Okay, I'll pass you to Dr. Sazalin Shah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, lupa nak unmute. Uh, Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon and selamat petang. Uh, semua boleh dengar ke? Clear bro, clear. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Clear, clear. Okay, okay. Bukan bro. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, thank you very much to UPM uh, Dr. Jariah uh, for the kind introduction uh, and especially for Prof. Faizah lah. Uh, hope uh, Prof. Faizah can uh, give a short Note juga lah nanti uh, in the middle or maybe at the end. Uh, pro, uh, PM Jaya, eh? uh, and uh, very much thanks to uh, KS lah, uh, KS for the opportunity uh, and UTEM uh, for this session lah. Uh, just for info, uh, 
I'm not that experienced sangatlah benda ni. Uh, baru a few times but uh, this is actually uh, the result from uh, the course that I have attended lah and also a few courses before that yang Kais ada buat lah. So uh, very much thanks to Kais for the uh, courses. Uh, this is uh, actually based on one of the course uh, in February actually. Uh, so baru fresh lagi lah, baru 3-4 bulan baru punya uh, ilmu kan. Uh, so it's actually just on the planning, uh, the, on the planning part, uh, not delivery. Uh, so delivery maybe saya, uh, you all lagi, lagi hebat lah. Saya pun online-online pun tak reti sangat. Uh, delivery is a, uh, an assessment. Uh, I will touch a bit on assessment. Uh, it's also a bit different matter lah. Okay. Uh, so PM Jaria, how, how, how does this work, uh, our session? Uh, so... Okay, the session is yours. You can share uh, the content in the, uh, in the button of share. Okay. Okay. Uh, F uh, and, then, and then I just uh, uh, present and then yes. uh, if, if any questions, they are welcome to ask lah. Okay. Uh, through the chat and also uh, maybe raise of hand or uh, Ah, yes, yes. Uh, you, uh, it's all yours. Uh, I will be uh, uh, put a, uh, I'll, I'll be here, but just mute, mute until, uh, until you have completed the session. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. So okay. Uh, I will try my best lah. Uh, hopefully. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank All you. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, hopefully tak, tak banyak sangat lah. Uh, sebab benda ni pun actually tak banyak sangat. Tapi tambah-tambah sikit uh, jadi banyak lah. Uh, tapi uh, uh, I will share the slide. Uh, hopefully there's no technical glitch. Uh, can we actually share a PDF file ke? Uh, boleh nampak kan PDF file ni? Okay, okay, boleh. Boleh. So you, you can see the only the PDF file ke? You can see my desktop, Tori. We can uh, we can see the uh, desktop as well. Desktop. Yeah, the screen. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, eh. Nice okay, uh, so you can see the slide uh, is a PDF. Uh, it's actually I made it uh, with Google Slide, but uh, the link for Google Slide is only for KS. Uh, for the others, you can actually download uh, the this file, this PDF file from this uh, picture uh, DOI uh, document object. A digital object identifier. Uh, so maybe I can just copy this and put in the chat possibly. Oh, sorry, uh, I have that actually. So it's here. So you can download that. Uh, the, the URL is there. Uh, the PDF file. Eh? So uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so if you have any question, just interrupt. Lah, eh? <laughs> uh, okay. So this is, as I mentioned, is a planning, uh, sorry, planning online. Okay. So number eh? okay. Eh? Uh, planning online lessons. Uh, so it's actually lesson plan, uh, and it's based on less uh, learning design metrics (LDM) lah. I call it. A learning design matrix is actually from Dr. Rose Maliza, uh, Muhammad Kamarudin from UIA. Uh, she's a faculty of education, uh, UIA Gombak. Uh, so learning design matrix is by her. She proposed that uh, it's basically a tool uh, for uh, design the learning. Uh, and I have adapted for our online purposes. Uh, and I have consulted her. Lah. So the slide pun dah go through her and we are hopefully trying to uh, get a paper out of this lah. Uh, so the paper is draft yet, uh, tak, ada, tak ada dia punya URL lagi, uh, but uh, hopefully we can submit that lah. So this is uh, an adaptation of uh, her work lah, learning design metrics. Uh, 
uh, references is uh, ada dekat at the end. Okay, uh, so it's just a sharing session. Uh, saya pun tak ada experience lah banyak macam PM Jariah, uh, Prof Faiza, uh, PM Mariam, uh, tu semua hebat hebat lah. Uh, so just a sharing session from what I have learned from KS punya workshop. Uh, thank you uh, for the opportunity. Uh, my name is Sazali Sharazali. Uh, my profile uh, at the faculty page is here. Uh, you can have a look. Uh, tapi tak update lah. <laughs> uh, dalam tak update. Uh, the material is here. Uh, the the apa nama? Uh, presentation slide. Uh, you can download that. Uh, you can cite that. Uh, it's actually the cut fix share, uh, and I will mention about this uh, yeah, towards the end lah. Uh, why we can and how we can uh, make use of these uh, facilities for our materials, uh, learning materials, especially online learning materials. And of course, uh, because I distributed this, uh, just put something lah for copyright and fair use and disclaimer lah. So this is basically for uh, from my perspective. And from what I understand lah, after going through the guidelines, going through the MQA uh, standard and all that lah. Uh, so this is from my perspective. So possibly you, your faculty or department have a bit different uh, decisions. Uh, so that is up to you lah and that you can uh, adapt the tool for your purpose. Eh? Okay, so basically uh, nine things uh, within three parts. So uh, 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 so we look at the first part why and also a bit on assessment because we you cannot plan uh, your learning without knowing the assessment. So can, actually, can have assessment plan dulu before before the learning learning les, uh, well, lesson plan. And then uh, we go to the gist uh, of the uh, LDM uh, learning uh, design matrix, and then why you want to use that and uh, closing lah. Uh, Okay, so intro uh, about me and uh, this session. So I'm not an education expert, but uh, I love to hear from uh, education punya people lah. Uh, so PM Jariah pun dah jadi macam orang education juga lah. Uh, and I went to uh, MPA, uh, Faculty of Education, banyak bagi uh, talk speakers lah. So uh, quite interesting lah their perspective lah. I don't have any training on pedagogy formally in slash in the technology, uh, but uh, this is a session uh, for sharing what I know from the courses uh, that I have attended lah, several lah. Eh, so, kena pergi courses kat AIS eh. <laughs> Jangan skip. Uh, mana yang ada sempat uh, menarik tu, uh, join lah. Uh, motivation. So basically, the motivation is basically a push factor lah. Actually, for us, uh, we can safely say that uh, uh, the push factor is COVID uh, and all this PKP and MCO, whatever. Uh, dah banyak pula jenis dia. Uh, online learning and uh, one thing is uh, remote learning. Uh, USM, I think, uses this terminology, uh, remote learning. Macam pelik juga lah, remote. Eh. Learning pun boleh buat remote. <laughs> uh, interesting. Uh, and then another term by one uh, professor, Faculty of Education, I think in UKM. Lupa nama dia. Prof. Fawzah. Fawzah. Panic Gogi. <laughs> Panic Gogi. Uh, not sure dia ambil kat mana. Ada talk dia dekat YouTube. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, Panic Gogi. Yeah. So macam mana nak buat ni kan? Tiba-tiba je kena, kena terkejut laut. Uh, that, that is my motivation lah basically. And I, I, I suspect a few more lah. Uh, Ni juga lah. Okay, uh, factors that trigger. Uh, basically, uh, ni from FTMK lah. I'm from FTMK. Macam-macam uh, lah. Uh, ni uh, actually from bottom left uh, is the Google Form. Uh, Google Form uh, by KJ lah, Ketua Jabatan Head of Department. They are trying to get uh, the readiness lah. Uh, trying to gauge the readiness. And of course, this... Uh, resource instructions, uh, dia nak tahu kita dah siap ke tidak, kan? So, and then these are the table. I think this is from PSTP. Uh, they are guide lah, kan? Apa nak kena ada, kan? But basically, if you can see here, these are the elements yang akan ada nantilah. Uh, uh, dia panggil weekly learning outcome. Ada yang panggil session learning outcome. Tapi 
as far as I know, MTA dia, uh, dalam salah satu doc dia, dia dokumen dia guna lesson learning outcome, LLO. Uh, and then uh, resources, uh, meaning materials, activities and assessment. Uh, as, as I mentioned, assessment memang critical lah. Okay, uh, and then ada macam-macam lah dalam ni, kan? Ada uh, uh, padlet ni saya dah pernah pakai, uh, kahoot ni baru nak try, uh, kan? Uh, so, these are the things that uh, they are requiring lah. Uh, macam I mentioned, uh, dia tiba-tiba dia sampai dekat uh, apa, gaung nak kena terjun. Uh, and then this uh, actually a snapshot uh, by a teacher, I believe, uh, from one of the group, a WhatsApp group. Uh, because dia kata dua jam, kan? So, uh, this shows that uh, the, the understanding lah uh, for online learning if it's two hours so dia kena ada two hours lah kat situ so which is not quite true lah uh, kita tengok nanti the learning design so uh, that's uh, what they are saying lah so all this uh, actually uh, for good purpose eh? memang perlulah benda-benda ni tapi yelah tiba-tiba pada banyak kan uh, and then we are quite not sure what to do because for me, uh, everything uh, uh, tak boleh nak terus buat je, we have to have a plan kan, kena ada plan, a rough plan pun jadilah so, ada plan tiba-tiba tanya, uh, you dah buat ke video kan uh, you dah ada ke storytelling kan uh, adlet ni dah dah siap ke uh, so, uh, not uh, pening juga lah, uh, that, that's from me lah, the trigger factor from me and also yang ni pun menarik juga eh uh, bottom left uh, weekly lesson nak come so uh, a few pun tanya juga uh, what is this for actually so uh, so bila kita ada learning design tu nanti uh, the tool you can see lah okay uh, as i mentioned uh, the uh, for learning teaching and learning uh, teaching and learning uh, supposedly the assessment is there First, uh, because uh, all the OBE documents uh, yang saya dah go through articles, uh, apa big saya nama dia. Uh, uh, this is quote from uh, other papers lah. Uh, they quote, they quote Ramsayan ni. Uh, assessment is the curriculum. Eh? So meaning uh, it boils down to assessment. Uh, so we should have uh, already had the assessment assessment plan. There are several ways that I know of. Um, ada banyak lagi PM Jaria, uh, PM Mariam, Prof Aiza lagi tahu lah. Uh, but from what I know, from UTM punya dokumen, they have uh, uh, apa, jadual penentuan kursus uh, to to determine the distribution of the assessment, uh, the length and so on lah. Dia ada calculation lah. We have the SLT. Uh, so, SLT tu ada perkelilingan akademik. Uh, need to know how to use the table lah. Uh, uh, PM Fahmi yang buat tu uh, based on the uh, town hall session. I think last two years ada uh, perkelilingan dia. Uh, so, OBE, CA is Constructive Alignment, uh, CLO and SLT. So, these are from OBE lah. So, this is before we plan the lesson, we need to know and understand about the assessment lah. So, what is outcome-based education? This is from uh, GGP, Guideline to Good Practice, uh, MTA document. ES is Assessment of Student. Uh, uh, grocery, yeah. So, this is official grocery from uh, MTA, KPT lah. Sorry, MTA. Uh, so OBE is started uh, is starting with the end. So it start with the end, uh, which is the uh, learning outcome lah. And then next is to plan, yeah? plan. So baru datang plan uh, the environment. So what is the environment? Teaching, learning, and assessment. Uh, teaching, learning, and assessment. So what is uh, uh, teaching, learning, assessment is to uh, align with the learning outcome. So but in OBE, dan kalau you tengok the papers on OBE, uh, Outcome Based Education, uh, they stress that the assessment must come first. So, assessment kena dulu. So, you tahu apa you nak assess dulu, baru ialah you buat activity, dan you buat material based on the assessment. Okay. So, at least that is what uh, my understanding lah. PM Jariah, PM Jariah boleh uh, track me lah. Uh, constructive alignment, this is one of the uh, apa nama? Uh, definition, not verbatim, uh, it's from this paper, I have this paper, BICS uh, 2003, 
uh, and this uh, diagram is also from that paper actually lah. But uh, I think another PM daripada UTSM draw draw this lah. Saya lupa nak put juga. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, basic concept of, of constructive alignment. Uh, the uh, constructive part is uh, the student construct meaning. Meaning uh, it is expected in under OBE the students yang get to understand uh, the learning process. Yeah? So they construct it themselves. Bukan kita bagi tahu lah. Uh, that's the the hope lah. Uh, and then the teachers make deliberate alignment. So alignment of what the activities and the outcome. Uh, through uh, assessment and assessment is to provide feedback so feedback loop tu yang quite important lah uh, so this is our perspective uh, the orange color tu we we see objective uh, we see the uh, lo then the outcome uh, we construct our activities and we do assessment so this is what we think uh, that we're doing but for the student uh, they see the assessment first uh, pagi tadi pun saya ada kelas and uh, most of the question is uh, about assessment. So they're asking how how will this be assessed? Kan? So nanti midterm macam mana? Nanti final macam mana? So they start with assessment. And that is true lah. Uh, this Bix and others are seeing. And then uh, they see the learning activities. How does it uh, how does it support for them to do the assessment? And then uh, hasilnya is the outcome. So the outcome is later which uh, uh, after going through the process lah. So this is uh, what their view. So uh, why I mentioned this is because uh, suddenly we are, we, are, we are asked to do activities. We are asked to do materials uh, without the planning. Uh, so macam mana, macam mana tu kan? So uh, tu yang saya KPK uh, and then I tried, ad I adapted this lah. Uh, the, the tool from Dr. Rosmaliza UIE tu eh. Uh, another definition of learning outcome, this is uh, overall statement of what students should know, understand and can do uh, upon the completion of a period of study. So for a course level, uh, for three credits, uh, biasa dekat FTMK, tiga kredit, uh, you should have three to five, uh, two, three to five uh, CLOs. Uh, usually tiga saja, tapi it can be until five as far as I know. Lah. And it begins with the end in mind. So this is the good thing about uh, OBE. Uh, the CLO, the PLO, PEO, they start with the N. Lah, eh? uh, okay. uh, so, semua, semua dah familiar benda-benda tu kan? So, just overview je lah. Uh, and then this one, uh, SLT. This is SLT table adopted by UTEM. This is official. <laughs> so, a few staff uh, pening-pening jugalah macam mana nak pakai benda ni. Uh, kena fahamkan jugalah. Uh, ada kat pekeliling tu ada there's uh, excel template tapi dekat template tu pun ada guide tu ada silap sikit lah. Uh, so but uh, for the adapted tool yang uh, saya nak discuss ni for today is actually looking at this guided learning time. Eh? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, so the focus is on the guided learning time because we, kita nak buat online kan so nanti dekat uh, our uh, teaching plan, supposedly they said uh, PPPA kata akan buka uh, online teaching plan, uh, we need to amend. So supposedly the guided learning time starting week 6 becomes uh, online. Lah. Uh, so we need to go somewhere that it becomes online. Eh? Uh, uh, the independent learning time, as as far as I'm concerned, yang saya faham, sebenarnya tak kisah pun dia nak, dia nak remote ke, dia nak online ke, because it's independent. Uh, so kita tak kacau sangat. Uh, however, uh, for me, uh, after going through the planning process, kan, I think uh, the le lecture punya independent learning time should be increased. So it should be the other way around because lab dah tak banyak. Uh, Psychomoto kita pun tak dapat nak, nak, nak apa nama, evaluate sangat, nak assess sangat. So uh, uh, for me, I would change this into two for lecture, one for practical lah. Uh, that's for me lah. Uh, and then uh, starting week six, uh, this would maintain for me only the mode become uh, online, uh, online. Uh, and then uh, CLO so for this every week, uh, it is matched to the cost learning outcome. The main, uh, the main one, uh, possibly one week you can attack two CLO, but uh, we declare one uh, for purpose of uh, quantifying. Uh, 
why this is important because our lesson plan later on will need to look at this CLO ni. Uh, so itu ada pentingnya benda ni CLO ni. Eh? Uh, for me lah. Eh? <laughs> uh, from what I understand. So uh, because our lesson plan uh, dua jam lecture tu, how we, how does it tackle the CLO3 CLO3 ni? Eh? And the lab macam mana dia tackle that CLO3? Uh, so and so on and so forth lah. Okay. Uh, so assessment. Uh, I mentioned it's very important assessment plan. We need to have that, but uh, certain faculties they are not yet deciding about the final. So kena tunggu yang tu juga dulu, baru kita boleh ada full pl assessment plan. And the timing for the assessment plan pun ada on the right hand side of this table. Kalau you tengok uh, kelilingan akademik tu, uh, uh, that one saya tak kacau. Uh, to tunggu keputusan and then we change it accordingly for our online purpose starting week six. Uh, we change that. Uh, okay. So that is assessment. Uh, assessment that for me assessment is summative. It's not within the lesson plan uh, directly. Indirectly the other. Nanti saya tunjuk lah. Okay. Uh, or, or those yang dah download slide tu you, you can uh, have a look lah. Uh, okay, uh, assessment table. Uh, our assessment table, at least for FTMK, this is a kind of assessment table that uh, we have adopted. I think this is from Zaman Prof. Izzah lagi lah. Uh, assessment method, uh, CLO mana kita nak uh, target, the method and the percentage lah. Uh, and the CLO tu ada a few uh, cognitive, psychomotor and so on. Uh, other uh, uh, university, they use the what is called, I think UKM, ada pakai, Prof. Syari UKM, uh, Cost Assessment Plan, dia panggil CAP CAP, which I think is much nicer lah because they emphasis on the CLO. Uh, so, they put CLO tu kat belah kiri. Uh, tapi, tak ada masalah lah as long as we understand lah. Uh, okay. Uh, so, the assessment, this is from the M2A. Uh, what they mentioned uh, in summary. Uh, so the assessment should be a variety. So for me, this is variety enough lah. Kalau tengok ada certain subject tu, masa saya jadi KJ pun saya dah mention, uh, tak boleh test je sampai 80% test. Tak ada variety kan. Walaupun dia kata test 1, test 2 kan. Tapi test juga. So it's not variety. Uh, and of course, it needs to be aligned. So aligned to the CLO. Uh, that is uh, OBE, Consultative Alignment. And these are the syarat lah. This is actually standard. Uh, this is for MQA. Uh, after MQA, for now, we are looking at MQA. So MQA ada uh, these five keywords for assessment. Uh, so semua penyelaras program, KJ saya rasa dah apalah benda ni. Uh, VRIC, uh, saya, saya panggil VRIC F lah. Uh, it's in standard 2.2.2. .2. Standard 2.2.2. Uh, if you buka COPPA second edition tu. Uh, validity, reliability, yeah. these two things are the most uh, discussed about lah, especially for online. Uh, and then integrity, currency and fairness. I need less talk about uh, because assume uh, it's okay lah. So validity is uh, the assessment is actually uh, assessing what is supposed to assess. Reliability uh, is uh, ada a few jenis lah. Uh, apa? It is reliable enough for you to make conclusion. Eh, so maknanya consistent lah, eh, consistent uh, ada few keywords dalam tu saya lupa. Uh, uh, integrity, uh, so for us, for online, uh, this is uh, problem, uh, integrity. So how we maintain the integrity of our test tu lah. So uh, boleh tak budak uh, jawab lebih masa kan. So ini saya, saya dah fahamkan PPPA uh, akan keluarkan garis panduan. Uh, so hopefully it can cover all these areas lah uh, and hopefully more lah because I think uh, professional bodies pun ada banyak lagi uh, more than this. Uh, currency and finance is uh, I think straightforward lah. Okay uh, so assessment uh, we need to understand this because our lesson plan relies on what we are assessing. Uh, that is my point here lah for this part and this first part. So uh, hopefully, so we have covered this first part. Uh, why uh, uh, I want to share this and the uh, assessment, uh, the stress on assessment because it will crop up later in the main gist. Yeah. 
So the main gist here is uh, about uh, the tool itself. So it's basically a simple tool uh, by Dr. Osmaliza. Uh, the references ada dekat slide belakang sekali. Uh, few slide yang belakang tu lah. Uh, so I introduce her work uh, and also about the lesson plan and also the adapt, uh, adaptation that I've made lah and I have discussed with her lah. Uh, and hopefully we come up uh, with a publication soon. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, uh, that is the second part, uh, number four and five. Okay. Okay, before before I proceed about the tool, uh, and hopefully uh, before you digest the slide, though, uh, can we share a bit? Uh, uh, how do you plan your lesson? Uh, any takers? Okay, anybody want to share? Uh, how uh, do you uh, do you do we plan our lesson? Uh, who want to uh, give view? You can unmute your mic and uh, say your uh, share with us your thoughts. Maybe uh, PM Jaria boleh, uh, okay, Dr. Fatima Azara, based on learning outcome. Uh, so you you plan based on learning outcome, uh, just, just buat macam mana tu? Ha. <laughs> Sebab uh, saya pun bila belajar benda tu pun saya nampak, oh, okay, barulah patut faham. Uh, for me, before this, uh, my plan was, uh, of course, based on the learning outcome. Uh, but the activities are actually based on me. Lah. Okay, anyone? Okay, uh, so uh, me, lah, for, uh, before this, uh, Based on student prior knowledge, okay. Uh, I was looking for some sort of uh, uh, prior knowledge, uh, but how do you know the prior knowledge of student? Uh, how, how do you prove the prior knowledge too? Okay, uh, uh, from me, uh, my plan was actually just Kalau siapa nak interrupt boleh eh. Ni Dr. Wahida pun ada ni FTMK. <laughs> so, uh, uh, can, uh, can you please share how was your uh, planning lesson, uh, planning your lesson changing uh, from the uh, from the earlier semester with those uh, affecting uh, PKP5 ni? So, PM Jala, you, you asking the, them or you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, I mean sharing your experience, not asking. Okay, I mean okay. just asking. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, so Dr. Waida tak nak cakap, tak apa. Uh, uh, so, uh, for me, uh, my lesson plan before is basically whatever on you learn. So, dekat you learn tu saya susun-susun. So, I, I just arrange my material in you learn, whatever. So, this is the way I... Uh, yalah, I stick to Yulan, Dr. Emma Liania Kasmuri, uh, FTNK. So, whatever in Yulan, saya letak je lah kat situ, kan? Uh, but there's a problem lah juga. Uh, nak, nak move from one semester to another semester, I need to re-upload and so on so forth lah. Uh, which I think uh, tedious jugalah. Uh, but that is how I done it lah before this. Uh, and uh, a day to the academic calendar, yes. Uh, but uh, but that is the plan for the whole semester for each one of the lesson, uh, meaning dua jam, the two hours uh, lecture and lab is basically inside my head. <laughs> so uh, whatever the material that I have, uh, I just go through that uh, and then a few questions and done. Uh, for the lab, uh, the lab material, the lab, uh, apa nama dia panggil tu? Uh, 
lab steps tu pun saya dah tahu lah. So I just ask them to do and done lah. So that is my plan lah. Uh, that's my plan. Uh, have hazard juga lah. Well, so bila pergi khusus KS tu and then I can see oh sebenarnya saya dah tak, we, we know this but we don't have a tool to to do it in a certain way lah. Ah, lab sheet, yes, lab sheet. I know the lab sheet already uh, uh, at the back of my hand. So saya boleh cakap aja. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, once saya dah pergi uh, kursus KS tu, learning learning plan uh, rupanya ada uh, and then you need to plan your lesson and then uh, smaller videos, yes. Uh, uh, and then uh, ada satu benda menarik dalam that uh, apa nama tu, uh, course which is this thing lah, uh, uh, learning design matrix and uh, PM Jarah asked me about how I change it. So as I mentioned, I'm only at the stage of planning. Delivery saya tak go through habis lagi because saya pun tak gerti guna habis pun pasal kahut and whatever tu. Uh, but hopefully uh, can improve lah. Eh. For this semester, kita power through saja. Hopefully short semester, saya kena ada short semester, KJ suruh saya ada. So hopefully short semester, uh, kita improve a bit. The target is for next semester lah because katanya next semester pun totally online. So that one, no excuse. Uh, we have we have ample time lah. Uh, so this semester for me is just power through. Uh, and how I change is basically from week six uh, becoming online. So once I become uh, on uh, change online, I, I do the plan uh, and try to do whatever I can lah. Uh, but based on the plan, nanti saya tunjuk plan yang saya dapat tu, uh, lesson plan tu, uh, I cannot do everything. Uh, first of all, uh, satu, salah satu masalah is that the apa nama, you learn, uh, you learn, uh, kita ada problem sikit, so uh, I rely on that uh, and then a few other things uh, tak dapat nak cover lah, uh, not as what I have planned. So that is my uh, case of switching, eh, switching, uh, which I believe uh, the rest of you will also, uh, or ha have also experience, uh, kalau you dah try tukar, to uh, try this, uh, conventional, we call it conventional, to online, kan. So, dia kan ada masalah sikit. But once you use this tool, uh, it's easy to uh, to change uh, untuk sesi yang seterusnya. Uh, so, you can see lah. Okay, eh? so, uh, saya tak faham uh, pre-record. I think the the session is recorded untuk PM Jaria. This, this session is recorded kan? Uh, this session is recorded, but uh, what uh, I Dr. Sharim did is uh, he used pre-recorded lecture video. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh. Okay, okay. Ah, betul, betul, betul. Ah, that is one element. <laughs> that is one element. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, this tool, the learning design matrix by, Prof, uh, I think, Associate Professor Dr. Murus Maliza Muhammad Kamaludin, uh, UIE. Uh, faculty of Education. Uh, it's actually a lesson plan, tapi dia buat dalam bentuk matrix. So, tapi the the thing yang men uh, she mentioned is about learning experience. Uh, learning experience tu grab my attention lah. Uh, so, uh, the learning is from the experience. So, what uh, she is trying to do is to design that experience for the student. Uh, so, sebelum ni, kita, uh, macam saya, kita power through saja kan. Uh, apa ada kat slide tu, Jalan aja, tak fikir pun macam mana experience student tu. Uh, so hopefully, uh, ni katanya student centre learning lah agaknya. Uh, okay, uh, and then another term uh, which uh, mentioned uh, by her is that, and also by others I believe, uh, biasanya orang guna instructional design kan, benda-benda ni semua ada instructional design. But it changed the perspective when you change it into learning design. So what we are trying to do is to design the learning. Uh, design the learning itu yang pada saya is menarik lah. Eh? Uh, maybe PM Jaria ada biasa lah benda ni. <laughs> okay, and then uh, the learning experience. So this is uh, what I concur with what uh, she has said lah, and others also uh, from various sources. Uh, kita boleh tengok kat YouTube, kat uh, whatever session. Uh, learning is a change of behavior. Uh, I think that is the short form of uh, the definition lah. And behavior in terms of what domain, usually we have these three domains, CPA, cognitive, psychomotor, and affective domains. Eh? 
So how do you translate that cognitive domain? Uh, have if they have learned is that they have gained the knowledge. How to assess is by examinable uh, tools, methods, uh, quiz, uh, tests, and so on. Psychomotor domain, uh, the skills acquired or developed. Eh? So this uh, you assess by observing, by uh, rubric, analy analytic rubric, holistic rubric, whatever, what not. Lah. Macam ada kan? Uh, and then effective. Effective are about values. It's a change of attitude. Lah. Uh, so you, you know something, uh, you appreciate. Uh, macam my subject is uh, AI in robotics and automation. So the main element nowadays uh, in intelligent robots is about ethics. So effective domain is about change of attitude in seeing robots. Uh, so you tak boleh tengok robot tu mechanical stuff saja, electrical stuff saja. You have to see it as a behavioral stuff, a behavioral entity. Uh, they boleh behave. So how do you value that? Uh, that comes into ethics lah. Uh, so change of attitude. Uh, and this is uh, what I concur with the speaker last time lah. We learn with emotion. Eh? So kita bukan learn dengan brain sahaja possibly, uh, but we learn with our heart eh? emotion and changes uh, that we that we require or we anticipate dekat domain-domain ni, changes uh, retain if we experience the learning. Eh? So the learning tu bila dia experience tu, dia rasa belajar dekat UTEM ni lagi best daripada belajar kat UM, contoh kan. So dia, dia boleh retain lagi banyak lah, the manfaat lah kita, kita boleh kata. Uh, the the apa, hasil lah, the, the result. Okay. So I, I believe a lot of us already know uh, nine events of instruction. Uh, this is a theory under education. Dah lama lah. I uh, think, I'm not sure lah. I'm bukan orang education. Uh, but uh, there are other, uh, other Carlton punya theory, whatever lah. So this is uh, quite simple and straightforward. Uh, nine events. So why these nine events? Because the tool collapse these nine events into five categories or, or what I say columns, eh, columns uh, or empat, lima fasa lah, lima benda. So, daripada sembilan jadi lima. That is from the original uh, Dr. Rosmaliza punya tool tu. Uh, so, the first, uh, these nine events, uh, ni bila kita nak buat ni uh, and we try to accommodate as much as possible lah. We may not be able to do everything lah. Uh, gain attention of the students, uh, the learners, inform them of, uh, of the objective of the lesson uh, for that particular session. Uh, this is a bit contentious lah uh, because uh, under OBE, uh, ni dah macam macam melanggar dia punya uh, pillar juga lah. Uh, constructive tadi kan. Uh, that why I mentioned the constructive alignment. Uh, but they are pro and con lah. Ni orang, orang education uh, debate lah. Uh, kita guna saja eh. Uh, tak tahu eh, PM Jaria boleh lah debate dia high level. <laughs> uh, uh, because if we if we inform the objective uh, of the lesson uh, and then dia dah tak jadi konstruktif. Uh, so kita nak dia construct themselves. Uh, so uh, up, up to each one of us lah. Uh, stimulate uh, prior learning. So this is prior knowledge. Uh, one of uh, the attendees tadi anda mention about prior knowledge. So we link that with the prior knowledge. So this becomes one column or one one fasa dalam the tool, uh, and then we actually present the content. So we present the content, whatever that we, we want them to to know or to learn uh, is number four, and then number five is uh, we provide guidance afterwards. After we presented the content, we provide the guidance or I believe what they call scaffolding lah, uh, scaffolding for Faiza ni tera lah under uh, education punya area lah. Uh educational technology also. Uh, and then we practice, uh, we ask them to practice and then we provide feedback. Uh, so this is collapsed into one uh, column later. Uh, and then we assess performance, uh, assess performance. So kita nak tahu dia dah belajar ke tidak, uh, there's a behavioral change in terms of CPA itu, cognitive, psychomotor, uh, effective, whatever yang you uh, sasarkan, your, your target, you assess. But for me, what I have adapted is that for the online learning, this, uh, this assessment is for the formative. Formative meaning the grade lah. So it's for learning. Uh, assessment as learning. Uh, assessment as learning and assessment for learning. Eh? It's not summative. Uh, uh, enhance retention and transfer to the job. This is to extend the knowledge that they have gained in that lesson lah. 
So these are the nine uh, nine events of instruction for from uh, Ghana. Eh, Ghana, I think is, is pronounced. Okay, uh, if you try to find lesson plan, there are various types, various uh, purpose of lesson plan. This is uh, I, I took from PM Dr. Shamsul Nur Azlan Muhammad. Saya pun tak kenal dari UITM. Ada dekat YouTube dia. Uh, the YouTube link is there. Uh, it's about lesson lesson plan uh, from him. Uh, upload 24th April lah. Zaman-zaman sekarang ni kan banyak. Eh? Uh, so this is uh, what he mentioned for lesson plan for SCL, student centered learning. Uh, you can see week number, uh, the CLO, that's why the CLO is important in our SLT, SLT table too. Eh? Uh, for me lah. Eh? Uh, and then for this lesson, type of lesson plan, there are the context, delivery method. Uh, so this is activities and then assessment. Uh, you can see the assessment is always there. Uh, always there for each uh, lesson. Uh, synchronous, asynchronous, and then the punya activity, the, the task, uh, and so on and so forth. So quite verbose lah. Uh, for me, this is, untuk orang education, I think dia suka lah macam ni kot. <laughs> Sebab uh, detail kan. Uh, for me, a bit verbose, verbose bahasa Melayu apa saya pun tak ingat. Uh, banyak sangat lah. Eh. Uh, too much info. Uh, which which I believe as the subject matter expert, we already know apa benda-benda ni, kan? Uh, cuma kita nak buat ni sebagai record, uh, recorded document, kan? So we don't, for me, we don't need to be this verbose uh, enough lah. Okay, so, uh, and you can see a lot more other lesson by other people lah, lesson plan. Okay, this is original uh, lesson design, learning design matrix, which is a type of lesson plan actually, tapi dia, I like I like the way she changed the term lah, learning design, eh, learning design, and it's in the form of a matrix. Ah, uh, tu nama dia learning design matrix. Uh, ni saya ambil daripada slide dia, Ros Kamaludin. Tapi saya dah tunjuk dia lah, dia tak kata apa, so okay lah. <laughs> eh, uh, the original is in the paper. It's actually uh, just two pa two pages paper uh, for this innovation. Uh, so uh, they based on topic. Uh, for us, I think most of us use uh, based on week lah. Uh, tapi ada juga from engineering people, they say uh, they not based on topic. So, tak ada masalah saya rasa. Uh, and then uh, she put collapse into five column. If you can see, uh, assessment, three instructional uh, is one, two, three. Uh, and then four is present the content. Five, six, seven uh, is here. Participation. Uh, eight is here and nine is there. So they what assessment, formative assessment to penting lah eh, for this. Uh, and then the flow is like this. Uh, so the learning, this is actually lesson learning outcome. Eh, lesson learning outcome. Uh, dalam uh, MK document saya rasa dia sebut LLO tu eh. Uh, GGP dia, dia sebut. So uh, how it does, the flow is uh, going through this and then uh, Change to the next subtopic, going to this, and then change to the next subtopic, and then going to this. So that's how it works, lah. Uh, the learning channels are just icons, just to make sure uh, what are the modalities of the student. Remember experience. Eh? So the experience, macam mana? So they dapat input, macam mana? Dia tu meaning the student, lah. Uh, uh, this is actually playing a role, lah, dalam this tool. Uh, benda icon ni. Uh, sebab uh, kita nak tengok the variety sebab ada ada certain student dia tak suka dengar saja kan dia nak suka watch video contoh uh, dia suka write something uh, so we can see the the different modalities the variety and the concentration uh, so that is the learning channel punya purpose of the icon tu lah uh, this is from what I understand uh, daripada apa yang dia ajar lah eh. so the learning activities are collapsed into five ni tadi and not to forget the learning outcome, lesson learning outcome is there, and the topic. But this all relates into the CLO for each one, lah, for our purpose. Yeah. So uh, example is that we go to class, uh, we start with the pre-instructional, we say uh, gain attention, inform student, and then stimulate recall our prior learning. So we can use a video for all those purposes. Uh, so it's from uh, viewing and watching from the modalities watching. 
so that is activity one. That activity two, we go through the slide, we give lecture. So the modality is uh, hearing uh, or listening and uh, seeing uh, the slide, and then do the do the uh, activities, uh, and then uh, follow through. Uh, follow through. Uh, ask them to do a web research on this subtopic. Uh, and then the next one uh, goes to this next, uh, do a uh, quiz uh, assessment. She mentioned that it can be uh, the first or it can be the last. Uh, so it's up to you lah, uh, to us. Eh? And then we have a discussion. We have a Kahoot a session in the class. Uh, we ask them to do essays. Maybe the LO for that particular subtopic is suitable for essay. Uh, and then we create quiz. Uh, sorry, we ask them to create quiz. Uh, that can be an activity also lah. So bukan kita yang buat quiz. Kita suruh dia based on uh, his or her, their knowledge to create a quiz based on the topic. And then uh, lesson three, uh, the same thing. And then end. So ada 12 activity kat sini. So the good thing here is that it's visual. So this is the tool. Uh, you have the constructive alignment happening. Uh, you have the flow. Uh, you know the modalities, the varieties. And then uh, uh, you can make this as a record of what you have done uh, for that lesson. Uh, so, biasa KJ, saya pernah jadi KJ kan. Uh, so, uh, kita nak tahu sebenarnya macam mana dia ajar ni kan. Uh, bila cerita pun kita pun tak faham. Tengok ULEN ni pun kita tak faham. Uh, sebab ada certain KJ dia masuk uh, staff punya ULEN tau. <laughs> saya dimaklumkan lah. Uh, uh, kita pun tak faham. Tapi bila tengok benda ni, one page we can understand that lesson. This is for one lesson lah. Uh, one lesson, uh, meaning kalau FTMK tu uh, dua jam lecture. So, okay, dua jam lecture, oh ni dia buat, okay. Okay lah, okay, okay. Oh, banyak sangat ni dia, dia guna kahut ni. <laughs> kan? So, you can see that. Uh, oh, kalau uh, if you have uh, semua telinga je kat sini, eh, ini semua banyak sangat pasif, kan? So, uh, activity 6 using kahut. So, uh, possibly, uh, ini, ini example saja. Uh, possibly this lesson outcome uh, is about uh, factual things and then they have a discussion and then they, they do a kahoot uh, to, for them to answer. Lah. This is formative, lah, eh? formative tool. Yeah? Uh, just to uh, apa nama? Uh, present, uh, present that. Because you, you do not need to present using slides. Slide itu, you boleh letak je kat you learn. Uh, this is about the experience. Uh, so, the the main uh, point here is the experience uh, of the student. Uh, itu, itu yang nak ditekankan kat sini lah. Uh, that's why kita design the learn. Dan ada metric ni. Okay, so this is the original one. Uh, which is good enough lah. For me, this is good enough. Uh, and I did one on this uh, for my week 4. Saya belajar ni masa week 3. So, saya buat untuk week 4. Uh, masa Februari belajar ni. Uh, it's going to be an intense. Uh, it can be as intense uh, map uh, metric as you want, uh, a simple metric as you want. Lah. It's up to you actually. Okay, this is the example that I've, I've done uh, during the course, uh, 26 February, yesnya, minggu tiga, week three, uh, and I did it for week four. Uh, and then baru saya nampak, uh, for me lah, saya, oh, rupanya ini yang saya ajar. <laughs> Kan? Kita tahu tapi kita tak nampak experience tu. Bila buat macam ni, for me, I can see the experience now lah. So it's actually week 4 uh, uh, targeting CLO3. CLO3 is uh, actually psychomotor. Uh, psychomotor domain. Eh? Mode conventional, masa ni belum PKP lagi. Uh, topic dia reactive paradigm. Reactive paradigm of robots. Robot ada banyak paradigm. Uh, three main paradigms. Uh, the easiest one is reactive paradigm. Uh, session dia, two hours lecture, two hours lab. Uh, Okay, uh, LO nya tiga, yes. CLO memang tiga. CLO tiga. Ini LLO. Okay, kejap lagi saya masuk dalam ni. Eh. Uh, so, uh, this is what I've done. Uh, and ni saya uh, buat dengan Dr. Hairi pun ada. Uh, semua timbalan-timbalan pengarah masa tu ada. Uh, duduk satu meja dengan saya. Uh, Dr. Hairi boleh boleh kengke on this lah. Uh, ni uh, speaker bagi lima bintang dia kata. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, so... Uh, Lima bintang saya sajalah main main. Uh, okay, so this is uh, what I've done. This is traditional lah. Eh. Ini bukan online lagi. Uh, so I've done this. Uh, saya, lepas tu saya tambah lebih-lebih sikit ikon ni. Because for me, macam tak cukup pula benda ni. Tapi, uh, but I'm not sure uh, 
for the educational theory punya side tu saya tak sure lah tapi saya tunjuk dekat uh, speaker Dr. Rosman Rizal dia kata okey je kan because I tambah ni because for us we have programming uh, we have constructing construct the robot uh, we have uh, report lab report and we have the web lah uh, for me web tu bukan setakat coaching saja dia kena kena gali and so on lah so I, I, I did this part lah uh, nampak macam banyak pula kan <laughs> tapi for me uh, because kita nak kita yang nak faham benda ni sebab kita nak, nak buat kan so uh, it's good for me good enough lah so uh, Prof Aizan mention tadi kena tiga yes betul CLO nya tiga bawah ni uh, sebab saya tak dapat nak letak kat atas tu dalam word document tu so I put it below so this week uh, week four lab and lecture is for C, uh, CLO 3 which is uh, P3 Uh, which is psychomotor, construct robotic automation program. Okay, this is PM Jariah, dia sebagai auditor MKA mungkin dia akan komen lah. Tapi maafkanlah eh, CLO ni PM Jariah uh, because ini turun temurun. Hopefully kita akan ubah lah CLO ni. <laughs> because the CLO ni tak menepati lah syarat CLO. Sebab syarat CLO tu dia ada tiga lah PM Jariah. Eh. Verb, contact, standard, VCS. Uh, so itu tak berapa apalah eh kita tapi saya fahamlah uh, maknanya student boleh buat programming uh, robotics and automation lah. Okay, so uh, back to this. The metric is the same as uh, tadi tu cuma saya masukkan my content. Uh, ni plan saya uh, CLO ni saya tambahlah kasi more verbose uh, reactive paradigm CLO3 just to make sure that I'm I'm actually aligning to CLO3. Uh, okay, ada empat uh, LO uh, Prof Izzah kata but this is for the lesson not for the course uh, so each lesson ada LO nya uh, dalam MKA GGP guideline group practice pun ada mention juga saya, saya dia pakai LLU uh, dan uh, if you because for my case I use uh, powerpoint from the textbook kan powerpoint from the textbook each powerpoint from textbook if you see usually they will provide at the first page or the first slide uh, objective outcome kan so that is for that lesson not for the whole course because the course is yours dia mana tahu course kita kan uh, so that uh, lesson uh, outcome uh, boleh for, for me this depends on the time the time uh, kalau lah uh, this reactive paradigm ni terlalu banyak uh, body of knowledge so i should not put it in one lesson so saya patut letak dalam Uh, dua minggu, uh, week empat, week lima. Uh, kalau saya dah identify uh, too many, too heavy, uh, so kena letak dua minggu. So this depends on dua jam, the time lah available for us. So basically for one uh, one subtopic is half an hour. Ah, uh, so this satu row is half an hour, this satu row half an hour, half an hour, half an hour, half an hour dapat dah dua jam, kan? Uh, okay, lab ada Dr. Malana ada sebut tadi lab, yes, the lab. Uh, is basically just to support the CLO3 and if you pasal yang ni pun saya ada, ada tanya juga uh, Dr. Rosman Rizal tu uh, bila tengok balik rupa-rupanya my lecture is all oh, sorry, is all cognitive kan cognitive tapi my CLO is psychomotor uh, but tapi sebenarnya betul because the 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 apa the experience of learning yang sepatutnya untuk CLO3 berlaku dekat lab uh, dekat lab tu uh, psychomotor So this is the psychomotor yang memang sepatutnya map pada CLO3. Ah so dia patut boleh buat. But in order to program a simple reactive behavior using this Lego EV3 robot, uh, they need to understand what is reactive behavior. So that is cognitive. So dekat situ ada explain, identify, uh, ada subsumption architecture is one of the uh, ways, potential fields is another way. Uh, so how to evaluate Uh, reaktif akademisnya, so dia kena tahu lah benda ni baru dia boleh buat benda ni uh, so ok lah, uh, so saya puas hati lah bila saya buat tu ok lah boleh lah uh, kan uh, ni ni sendiri buat sendiri puas hati lah kiranya tapi uh, dah tunjuk kat dia, dia kata ok lah ok lah eh. uh, ok uh, so assessment uh, for this dia buat di depan so dia buat dia bagi assessment dulu, assessment tanya so saya bagi true false whatever ni programming test untuk ni, ni lab 2 jam yang asing lah Uh, and then bagi video uh, and then uh, we can also uh, do do not need to have uh, pre instructional untuk setiap uh, micro oh, sorry sub topic eh, sebab kita dah cover kat sini so not 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 applicable 
pun boleh tak ada masalah uh, Okay and then uh, present we present untuk saya banyak slide dengan lecture je lah uh, Tak reti masa ni memang tak reti sangat lah kahut lagi uh, Okay and then uh, dekat sini baru uh, apa, Prof. Ezra cakap tak perasan uh, And then kat sini baru activity So activity uh, dia doing something and so on Okay, learning happen, yes, 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 yes. Uh, yelah, learning happen. <laughs> uh, okay, and then uh, do a case study, the, the, buat discussion, and then extended follow through. So, we we we, we inform them, okay, for this subtopic, uh, you should do this uh, after, kan? Do this after, do this after. So, basically what uh, is happening is this four column lah. And the numbers inside here is actually the nine, kerana, uh, nine events of instruction. Sembilan ni collab jadi lima kan? Satu, dua, tiga. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, collapse into this numbers. Uh, so, I, I still put it there for me uh, to to make me aware lah. Kalau tengok dia punya, dia tak tulis. Uh, pasal dia dah, dia dah expert kan. Uh, saya tulis. Uh, that, and for me, tulis senang sebab nanti kita nak report kat KJ kita senang. <laughs> kan? Eh, saya dah buat. Uh, yeah. Kalau tak buat pun, at least saya dah plan. Kan? <laughs> okay. So, this is the Uh, learning Design Matrix by Dr. Rosmaliza Kamaludin uh, for traditional. Uh, okay, so for me this is uh, good enough, uh, good enough uh, for us to, to guide and for them to know how how we are uh, we are supposed to experience uh, the learning. Uh, okay, so that is for traditional, conventional. So semua uh, benda dekat you learn whatever, what not, uh, atau hard copy whatever, tak ada masalah. Okay. Now, uh, because of the trigger factors and because of the apa nama tu? Uh, motivation yang tadi saya sebut, uh, uh, PKP lah, MCO lah, uh, KJ nak progress uh, readiness lah. Uh, we need to report, we need to document. Uh, kalau tengok guide UTEM tu, uh, PPPA bagi tu, Dr. Hairil lah, eh, uh, dia kata kena record. Tapi dia tak beritahu nak record perubahan teaching plan macam mana. Kan? Uh, lepas tu kena ada, uh, PSTP kata kena ada uh, apa nama tu? Uh, learning material, learning as, uh, learning activities and so on so forth. Kena ada assessment. Uh, so semua benda tu macam mana tak beritahu kan? Uh, yelah, perlu ada creativity lah. Uh, so this is one of my creativity lah. I, I think so lah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so adapting for online lesson and uh, specifically for FTMK UTEM. Sebab dekat FTMK UTEM tu banyak pengarah-pengarah. Uh, semua info masuk kat situ. <laughs> kan? uh, so saya try to adapt lah. Try to that as far as I know, uh, this tool that I have uh, trying to devise uh, is adhering to that uh, all those requirements for now lah, uh, for now. Uh, emotion and planning, okay. Uh, okay, uh, so for online, they have they're saying that you need to have a synchronous and asynchronous. Saya rasa semua dah faham. Uh, but uh, never forget that we have students capabilities for online learning uh, to cater for because uh, dalam case saya SEM ni uh, for diploma AI in robotics and automation ada dua atau tiga orang internet connectivity dia susah sikit lah uh, tapi semua orang masuk ada empat orang je tak, tak masuk tadi kelas uh, synchronous uh, so we need to cater for them uh, yang tu masuk dalam delivery lah uh, tu kena tanya uh, PM Jariah Prof. Faizah ya yeah. uh, Uh, tapi the plan must be there lah. Eh. Uh, provide variety of delivery types. Uh, I like the term segera versus tak segera ni. Synchronous tak synchronous. This term is being used by MAPTA. Uh, MAPTA punya official document. Uh, but not sure whether DP, DBP approve ke tidak ni. Saya tak check lagi. Segera tidak segera ni. Uh, tapi best juga lah nama tu. Uh, and then this is by I believe PPPA punya guideline. UTEM potluck uh, ni, uh, online TLA guide, online TLA guide, teaching, learning and assessment guide eh, uh, yang baru keluar, keliling bilangan 7, 2020. Eh. Uh, it's mentioned there, it is recommended eh, uh, to limit synchronous online interaction session to maximum of 40% of original face-to-face -face SLT. Itu uh, pasal kena tahu SLT tadi. Uh, so, I've calculated, uh, so our uh, synchronous uh, online with student Uh, per lesson, uh, to, to our session, per session is 45 minutes. So, jangan lebih. So, 45 minutes with the student and the rest are asynchronous. Uh, 
but how to show this ah uh, tu yang guna tool tu tadi tapi nak guna tool original tu macam tak kena so kena adapt so bila adapt tu uh, rasa macam okey <laughs> tak tahulah okay and then uh, also mapta uh, so uh, we we are doing this not just for pkp kan so uh, uh, ptg is pembelajaran teradun gantian uh, in english uh, blended blended learning blended learning for replacement uh, eh. Uh, they have 40 40 20 rule uh, ni dalam doc, ni dalam plenary session uh, and also official document mapta uh, so bila kita buat ni we are hoping that we can cater also for future lah kan takkan nak buat untuk PKP je uh, so the 40 40 20 is 40% on learning materials 40% on learning activities and 20% on assessment so but how to Uh, do this for each lesson dia tak bagi tahu dia bagi tahu dalam official document mapta and also the plenary speaker Dr Azhar Kamaludin UMP tu uh, dia just bagi tahu for the whole course ha uh, itu dia dia ada bagi tahu tapi for each lesson dia tak cakap so how to put that uh, in in writing lah so this is what i think should be done so saya tunjuk page 2 terus so this is my week 6 uh, asynchronous is should be the rest lah should be the rest. Synchronous is 40%. I put it uh, 40 minutes, 45 minutes lah. So this is what I have adapted. Uh, so I put it in, uh, saya jadikan tiga pages. Uh, daripada satu pages tadi kan. So saya jadikan tiga pages, ada reason dia. So this is the page two, which is the the matrix. So the page two, uh, still we start with the same things. Uh, the same thing. Uh, this is week enam pula eh, week enam. So week 6 kita dah start PKP half halfway lah. Uh, start hari Senin petang tu dah dah start online. PKP hari hari Rabu. Okay. Uh, so tajuk dia uh, sensing which is, which is about sensors uh, is for lecture 2 hours 2 hours. So this this is actually the uh, lesson learning outcome ada 4 uh, and again how do I get this is actually I part, uh, I have paraphrased from the uh, PowerPoint material from the textbook because saya pakai textbook so learning slide tu memang daripada situ so i use that uh, dia ada banyak dia ada 6 ke 7 tapi yang lain tu saya tak cover so saya cover yang saya cover jelah <laughs> and this one memang uh, apa lab sheet uh, yang buat sendirilah so i know this one lah okay so uh, and then the changes what are the changes if you can see uh, this row is the same uh, gana 9 events tu sama uh, but i have uh, apa construct it into uh, several other columns eh? okay the first one is uh, this learning material learning activities and assessment 40 40 20 uh, 40 40 20 kita dah cater for map for PSTP dia nak tanya kita dah ada uh, so i believe so lah uh, but for me uh, for le this lesson uh, level uh, assessment 20% tu are formative formative Eh, because assessment summative yang ada grade dalam assessment table, teaching plan, semua ada grade itu summative, so yang itu uh, kita lain, itu critical, uh, so kita letak asing, so I put it there uh, and then uh, ada yang tanya tadi synchronous, asynchronous, how do we plan that, so this is my my plan lah, uh, what I think uh, is suitable, kita follow UTEM Online Teaching Learning Assessment Guideline 2020 uh, baru keluar perkelainan dengan 7-2020 uh, Synchronous 40 minutes saya letak 40 minutes kalau calculate dalam 50 minutes tapi 40 minutes cukup lah so meaning uh, this slot nanti 40 minutes je eh. Asynchronous P and Post eh. P is dalam sepatutnya 1 jam Post another 20 minutes so ni dah jadi 1 hour this becomes 1 hour so dah jadi 2 hours lah kan the whole thing the whole the whole thing lah kat sini Uh, okay, uh, but for this, uh, uh, it's mentioned uh, but that from I believe from Mapta, they say uh, 40, uh, uh, but 10 minutes online uh, activity here is equivalent to 60 minutes face to face. So 10 minute video sama dengan sejam. So we just follow that lah. Uh, but for me, we can, uh, sebab saya selalu tengok YouTube, saya akan cepatkan dia, uh, the speed jadi dua. Sebab kita boleh dengar YouTube dengan speed dia dua eh, kali dua. Boleh. Boleh faham. Uh, so, we can put uh, two videos lah kat sini. For me lah. 
Uh, lecture slide, we still put there. Peer discussion, we are still expecting them to do that before class. Uh, and then this is the introductory video for instructional. Kan? Uh, PSTP ada minta, eh, dalam guide pun ada, dia ada kata, uh, needs to have an instruction. So we put it there before. Eh? So for synchronous, it's only this. So what happened is that 40 minutes, we have 20 minutes here, 20 minutes here, more or less. Lah. Eh? So each one of this is around 2-3 minutes here. Uh, kan? Uh, so participation, uh, we do question answer, discussion, we look at case study, discussion for this topic. Uh, so dalam 10, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes here, done. Uh, ask them to answer. Uh, okay. And then uh, for each one of these, uh, we, we inform them, okay, for this uh, this uh, subtopic, this two subtopic, you need to create a quiz and you need to submit. And for especially for those yang tak boleh join synchronous, uh, dia, boleh, dia, dia boleh tengok uh, the recorded video later, uh, dia boleh buat benda ni and become the attendance, the option B, attendance for option B lah. Uh, for synchronous, macam saya kelas tadi ada 56 student join, so all of them, I ask them to answer a quiz, Google Form, saya buat, sekarang saya buat kat Google Form je, sebab kat Yulen uh, takut dia tak boleh access. So, uh, ask them to do that and take that as attendance. Yang ni pun, uh, KJ pun minta kan. So, we use this uh, opportunity and then we put it in our plan. Eh? And then, this is a follow through extended. Uh, Ghanan uh, events is to strengthen our the, their knowledge. Uh, you, uh, do this lah, we ask them to do this. Okay, uh, so what happened is that uh, it's all aligned. Uh, and then, hopefully for uh, robot, they uh, for lab they do this lah uh, so untuk lab uh, quite straightforward lah uh, sebab kita nak buat dia satu benda dia okay uh, the main uh, different i would say is the assessment i put it in front uh, to to follow apa uh, obe lah eh uh, lesson outcome assessment baru activity so kita tahu apa yang kita nak target eh uh, for this is just example ni bukan sebenar eh ni bukan sebenar uh, is summative uh, is just to identify which one uh, yes dalam web bag pun boleh tapi nak dapat nama dalam web bag tu susah uh, so that's why saya nak guna yulen tu sebab dalam web bag bukan nama betul kadang-kadang dia pakai okey tak apa uh, uh, so assessment uh, this is just example um, tapi uh, it's up to you lah to what granular, granular level that you want to, to write here uh, mungkin sampai question level, mungkin sampai part saja. But you know uh, which method and also which uh, CLO uh, to cater lah. And it might not have any any uh, assessment yang significant. Eh? But the learning happens. Okay, uh, so this is the second page which is the metric itself. Uh, I call it uh, TLDMO. Uh, nama tu belum belum uh, belum confirm lagi. Okay. Uh, dia tanya apa tadi? Synchronous. Boleh, uh, boleh lecture buat guna asynchronous untuk 2 jam. Video 10 minit kali 2. Uh, yang uh, lecture, this lecture, you mean this lecture at this column? Oh, sorry. Uh, this column or lecture yang mana? Yang yang ni lah. I assume this one lah. So, yes. Uh, I would say because based on the guide, dia kata 10 minit dah cukup. So, maknanya we compress everything. Uh, we follow the guide. Dia kata 10 minit dah cukup, dah cukup lah. As long as we cover all this LLO lah. And, and of course, we have uh, supporting uh, materials uh, here and there that they should be able to uh, apa, gali sendiri lah. Eh? Uh, but the rule of thumb is 10 minutes is one hour. is to face. But for me, as I mentioned, saya boleh tengok video YouTube dengan double the speed sebab kita nak cepat tengok kan so selalu saya tengok TED tu saya cepatkan speed dia kita boleh faham so I would say we can have two videos uh, kalau mana yang tak cukup tu lah mana 10, 10 minutes 10 minutes so two videos pun dah cukup lah sebab kita pun tak nak buat kerja banyak-banyak kan <laughs> eh? synchronous pun kalau boleh nak pendekkan eh? 40 minutes ok but as long as all is aligned uh, ni pun ok lah but of course lah ni plan lah eh? this is the plan delivery Tanya PM Jaria, tanya PM Mariam, tanya Prof. Izzah. Okay, uh, for online, 
uh, okay, uh, I introduce this code system. This is for me uh, because just to identify because uh, bila online, dia banyak rely on materials yang sepah-sepah kan. So, jadi macam susah lah pula. Okay, yang pakai equipment tu kejap lagi kita jawab boleh. Uh, ini ini uh, semasa uh, apa nama? Uh, Uh, partly PKP, uh, partly PKP sebab uh, ada dua group lab, satu lab tu dapat buat ni, satu lab lagi tu tak sempat uh, sebab dia hari Jumaat. <laughs> so that one saya kena ganti benda lain lah, saya dah ganti dah pun hari tu. Uh, apa? Showing simulation. Uh, simulation. Uh, okay. Yang satu lagi saya share nanti week 6, uh, yang tu betul-betul ada -betul PKP. Okay, uh, so uh, once we have this metric, uh, kita nak identify all this uh, kalau tak silap saya dalam education dia panggil learning objects. Uh, learning objects, benda yang kita guna untuk uh, learning lah. Learning aid or learning material whatever lah. So, kita ada identify sebenarnya kat mana benda ni. So I created a second second page or the third page actually. Is that uh, uh, is that I listed all the materials or I would say learning objects for the three yang orang minta sangat tu kan. KJ-KJ kalau kat SMK tu dia minta lah benda ni. Learning material mana, aktivitinya mana, assessmentnya mana kan. So, kalau nak tunjuk kat ULEARN tu, ayah juga kan. Uh, so why not compile dekat sini. So this is what I have uh, suggested. Uh, we try to do this. Uh, and then we just put uh, intro video. And then uh, saya, saya suka guna Loom. Uh, saya bagi URL pada Loom punya video kan. Uh, so semua URL ni you can paste it into the ULEARN. Tak ada masalah. Uh, cuma for... Uh, tool purpose uh, for you to refer or for your KJ to refer or for your colleague to refer is here. Eh? Uh, so synchronous ada kat sini uh, and then assessment uh, formative uh, is all here uh, and then nak tahu dia dekat mana so week 6 K is kuliah, M is makmal so makmal saya grey kan uh, and column C, uh, column C is delivery uh, nombor 2. Uh, eh? Formative assessment tak masuk grade, uh, dia orang banyak kali tanya, <laughs> ni ada markah ke, ada markah apa kan, saya kata you jawab je. <laughs> dia orang pun kadang tak faham formative tu tak ada grade. <laughs> eh, tapi uh, for us, is just for them to learn, itu je. Eh. As long as they learn, sudah lah. <laughs> okay, and then I mention here, attendance A, attendance B, uh, this are the option, kalau dia dah buat attendance A, dan uh, Tapi kalau mana yang ada masalah, dia boleh buat this attendance B, which is asynchronous. Eh. So option lah untuk untuk them. Nah, so this are I call it a resources page. Eh? Resources page. So it's all there. So katalah kita, kita nak tahu uh, apa? Eh, uh, macam mana yang you bagi for this? Eh? Oh, uh, week 6 kuliah uh, for assessment di uh, nombor 3. So kuliah di 3. Okay, this one. Okay, I can open this. Uh, so kalau KJ tengok, tengok kat dua page ni, cukup lah. <laughs> kan? Uh, so nak tahu berapa persen, you can see that, oh banyak lagi yang tak siap, oh ada sikit lagi nak siap, uh, kan. So we know that, but we have the plan, uh, yang penting plan ada, <laughs> kan. Eh? Delivery tu kemudian lah. Eh? Uh, okay, so that is the uh, case, uh, there's two pages, so I extend, I extended uh, together with Dr. Osmaliza lah, saya dah consult her also, hopefully uh, dapat publish nanti. Uh, tapi sebab Uh, kita dah terjun panic gogi ni. Uh, so share lah. So this two pages uh, yang penting. So uh, and if you see this video, let's say you apa ajar robot dekat uh, FKE, uh, you see oh video ni menarik juga. Uh, tapi sesuai ke for my course? Uh, how do you know the context of this video? Uh, nak tengok semua video pun penat juga. So how to know the context? You look at the matrix. So konteksnya apa ni video ni? Uh, week 6 Uh, which is uh, makmal uh, at column B. So week 6, makmal, column B is uh, content presentation. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, short video, okay. Oh, dia untuk, oh, tentang ni, apa nama? Uh, just uh, sensing. Okay lah, saya boleh lah masuk kat saya punya course dekat FKE untuk sensor. Ah, so, boleh guna sama, kan? Uh, without, uh, without, uh, apa? Nak gali banyak sangat lah. Uh, so kalau kita nak tengok semua video pun pernah juga kan. Uh, so kita tengok, oh, okay, uh, ni saya faham. Kalau uh, nak tanya lanjut, you can ask the author. You can ask the person. Eh? 
uh, but again that comes the door itu nantilah uh, fix share yang saya mention tadi tu uh, that will be I think KS pun boleh tengok nanti uh, good thing for us to practice lah uh, because we have this learning material or learning resources objects we can make use as our input for PNP Okay, uh, and then the third page or the first page uh, is actually just information. So uh, I like for me, I like to rewrite all this back for reinforce for myself and also possibly for the student, uh, for them to understand. Lah. Uh, again, this thing is not just for you. Uh, this is uh, the verbose uh, version. Maybe you can use your peers, a colleague can use your KJ, nak tengok pun boleh. Uh, tapi for student, you can simplify. Maybe for student, you... Uh, blank out this kan uh, blank out this but dia, dia pun tak faham sangat apa benda atas ni kan uh, so possibly for them you simplify and share with them so bila you share with them these three pages they know the lesson for that week uh, you need just to reinforce me lah <laughs> verbos verbos <laughs> verbos tu uh, banyak banyak uh, lebih lebih ah uh, <laughs> yes verbos <laughs> sorry yeah. english orang gombak okay so uh night event of instruction just to uh, reinforce myself but you can change this into software use whatever lah uh, you need to have the software uh, and meet meet with the, the technician uh, whatever what not lah you can put it here so just three pages but essentially these two pages are the important thing so dua benda ni lah Okay, that is week six. Uh, another example, just to reinforce again, you can see this is what I've planned for actually this week, uh, week lapan. Uh, I call it week lapan lah, because for me, week tujuh is the midterm break plus PKP. Uh, because saya suka kira berdasarkan minggu semester, bukan minggu kuliah. <laughs> Which I think uh, peraturan akademik dulu punya version benda macam tu, yang baru saya tak tengok lagi. Uh, okay, so this is uh, week 8, which is this week, uh, is CLO2, so CLO2 is actually uh, integer, which is uh, effective, uh, and then we have lab, so this lab, uh, as you can see, this week, I have to change to simulation, uh, because robot C ni, uh, tak boleh, dia boleh pakai kat lab je, sebab dia kena bayau, <laughs> eh, so I ask them to do this activity lah, uh, I sim VR software, uh, do this, I'll show them, and so on. So this is for the two hours, uh, synchronous, asynchronous. Eh? Uh, tapi of course lah, delivery itu ada hiccup and so on, what not. Uh, itu cakap-cakap, rupanya saya mute. Yang ni pun saya mute ke? Ah, tak. <laughs> okay, uh, and then uh, this are the lesson learning outcome for week uh, 8, which is actually chapter 7 in the textbook. And what I did is actually just uh, paraphrase lah from the slide punya lesson sebab kita tak nak buat banyak kerja kan. So, <laughs> benda yang kita ajar itulah dia. Uh, so, kita paraphrase je. Uh, which is this thing. LLO 3. Is LLO ada 4. Uh, and then this, uh, ini bukan sebenar sebab fakulti tak decide lagi. Itu uh, yang di masalah juga tu. And then, uh, I just do it like this. Uh, so, and then... Uh, if we look at this, uh, we can compare lah nanti. So, kalau bila dah ada banyak tu kan, ada 14 lesson, we can compare. Ya, yeah. asyik-asyik uh, you buat discussion je, apa yang you discuss sebenarnya ni, ha, kan? Uh, and then the learning modalities, you can look at that lah, and so on. And of course, the same thing, uh, the resources page is over there. So, that is basically uh, the tool. Uh, to the gist is there lah, uh, that is the gist. So the rest are just for me to highlight to you again the benefits and of course there are limitations uh, and hopefully we can uh, conclude that lah. So benefits for instructor, uh, saya letak ni untuk empat, empat, uh, apa nama, empat kategori, empat, ni lah, pihak, empat, four, four parties. Instructors, students, admin, instructor meaning the, the one who is delivering the lesson lah, trying to deliver the lesson, the student, Administrator tu, AJ, TDA, whatever, peers. Eh? Kenapa kita nak guna? So, for instructors, uh, I, I put it here, uh, it's basically uh, partly from the uh, nama, original uh, learning design matrix punya benefits juga lah. Saya ambil visual overview of lesson plan. So, instead of macam yang dalam YouTube tadi tu, yang UITM punya Professor Madia tu, uh, it's verbose, dia, dia banyak kan? Uh, so instead of that, it's just a one vi visual overview. Uh, so I like that. Eh? 
uh, detect varieties of tools activities used so bila dah ada banyak you, you have several uh, lesson plan matrix tu so you, uh, you can you know, but, apa asyik-asyik kita buat benda ni je kan so why not kita ubah so kita ubah susunan so whatever lah uh, compilation uh, of learning materials and its context uh, for this one is for the online version punya uh, because bila dah online tu uh, kita nak compile macam mana so we compile it just buat dalam senarai uh, attaching to the matrix kan uh, and again uh, the good thing is that uh, the learning material is does not stand on its own it has a context dia ada context so senang nak tahu context dia kalau tak kita tengok youtube tu kita pun tak tahu sebenarnya dia ni cerita bahagian mana dalam assessment kan dalam assessment ada banyak bahagian so uh, a lot of uh, subtopics there so not sure so Uh, yang ni uh, for me is uh, the benefit lah. Uh, try as much as possible to follow the nine events of instruction. Adhere uh, as much as possible to the requirements that I know of and best practices of PTG online learning, OBE, courses deployment, CLO and SLT. That's why I mentioned that uh, in the first part. Uh, easy to share eh, with student, your KJ, your peers, eh, your kawan-kawan. Uh, can be re reused in future. So you dah buat satu, uh, sem depan, uh, maybe you ubah kan ubah material dia ubah susunan ke kan so up to you lah eh uh, benefits uh, for students uh, you, you can share the sim simplified version uh, aware on the design of their own learning because kita nak reinforce uh, they should learn on their own they construct it kan uh, visual guide on tapi macam ni nak construct kalau dia tak faham uh, the design of the learning so at least dia ada ada guide ni lah A visual guide to do self learning see the bigger picture of uh, weekly learning session so instead of looking at the you learn sebab saya selalu suruh student tengok you learn uh, nanti you fahamlah apa yang kita nak buat kan uh, patutnya lab ni ada kaitan dengan uh, material ni uh, tapi kita assume so tapi bila ada macam ni i think they should see the bigger picture lah eh. uh, understand each material context again context uh, easy to refer one or two pages print out so uh, kalau untuk yang macam my student tu yang for student yang susah internet tu maybe dia dapat pdf dia tengokkan pdf lah kan oh macam ni susunan dia okey saya buka video ni okey saya buka yang uh, pdf ni so okey untuk administrator kj uh, uh, untuk audit <laughs> audit uh, mqa uh, audit mqa pm jariah uh, kita kena audit dengan pm jariah <laughs> uh, so untuk untuk tujuan tu This is my belief uh, sebab ni tak endorse mana-mana pun uh, tapi at least kita buatlah kan. Uh, okay so it's easy to check preparation progress of staff. Uh, kita nak tahu uh, sebab uh, I've said that uh, KJ in FTMK provide uh, KJ in FTMK provide a Google form kan. So kita kena isi kan. So saya pun main isi je lah. Tapi saya pun tak faham apa <laughs> apa nak buat tu kan. So kalau tengok this uh, matrix dia mulai nampaklah okey minggu ni lesson dia macam ni so mana material dah ada mana belum ada mana tengah buat kan uh, so record keeping uh, because uh, dalam guide semua guide kata any changes any what you do kena ada uh, documented kan uh, so kita at least kita ada dokumen kan uh, so that's my belief lah uh, audit purpose ha uh, bila audit datang kelang kabut kan <laughs> PM Jaria eh? Uh, so kita compile. Uh, so kita dah buat tu uh, at least we have uh, things to show lah. Uh, and then short report uh, from each staff. <laughs> short report uh, from each staff uh, senang. Instead of tengok Google form uh, sebagai KJ lah sebab saya pun KJ dulu. Nak uh, tengok Google form tu pun uh, bukan senang kan. Kita isi senang tapi bila KJ nak tengok tak senang. <laughs> sebab nak tengok nak tari kan. Uh, leceh juga. So minta group page ni cukup lah. Uh, itu andaian saya lah. <laughs> Analyze student learning. Uh, okay ini kita tak pernah buat lagi as far as I know. Uh, learning experience of student. Uh, ada ke kita analyze uh, ni kena tanya tak tahu nak tanya siapa PPPA kod Dr Hairil eh <laughs> uh, uh, so at least kita analyze uh, oi dia ni asyik 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 uh, bagi slide aja uh, tak ada buat aktiviti pun uh, so at least we have the reference to do the analysis Okay, next is uh, peers. Peers meaning our colleagues lah uh, whether the same department the same faculty uh, university or even Uh, from other universities. Eh? Uh, so, 
uh, easy to understand colleagues learning material in context uh, sebab learning material on its own uh, quite difficult for us to understand dia ni deliver uh, material ni dalam konteks apa kan so we we have the lesson plan which is just one page uh, learning matrix <coughs> easy lah for me i believe <coughs> And then, uh, no need to go through the linear material, tak perlu dah tengok semua. Uh, contoh, uh, formative quizzes. Formative quizzes, we can actually recycle. Uh, sebab dia tak ada effect, dia cuma effect for learning kan. Tapi takkanlah you nak create baru setiap kali kan. Kalau you punya kawan dah buat, sem lepas, kita guna sajalah. Tapi, mesti konteksnya tepat. Uh, so, nak, macam mana nak tahu, kena tahu tengok learning uh, lesson plan dia. Uh, so, lesson plan dia senang faham. Ah, uh, tentulah. <laughs> eh? Uh, reuse other learning material on, on lesson, uh, easy to adapt the learning design matrix for own course purposes, you adapt that, uh, ubahlah uh, mana yang uh, perlu, uh, is discussion for courses with multiple lecturers, okay, ini untuk subjek macam subjek yang, subjek yang you, apa nama, uh, share dengan orang lain kan, uh, contoh subjek uh, statistic or calculus, ada empat lecturer kan, so, Uh, each one of them can have their own lesson uh, lesson plan, uh, learning design matrix yang dibuat sendiri. Uh, tapi macam mana nak tally, uh, which is rather, nak discuss. So, tengoklah masing-masing punya. So, easier daripada duduk cakap, oh, tengok kat slide tu, slide tu, adalah slide yang tu, mana tu. Ha, kan? ha, selalulah uh, kalau kita buat tu eh. Okay, uh, but of, uh, this one I also would like to highlight about the usage. Uh, ni uh, KS pun boleh, boleh highlight kot nanti about the use of uh, apa nama uh, fixture data dryer uh, apa nama zenodo uh, digital object identifier doi so macam this uh, apa nama this uh, presentation uh, i put it in publicly in uh, with the doi uh, digital object identifier uh, such that uh, if other other people wants to use it they can use it but they cite me <laughs> kan So, it's part of the PNP punya contribution and it is recorded lah. Uh, so, kita, kalau kita dah buat video, kata lah tadi video on introductory video kan, on apa tadi ni, hybrid paradigm. Uh, hybrid paradigm, contoh dekat FKE ada subjek intelligent robotics, uh, tak sure ada. So, dia nak buat, dia nak guna introductory video ni. Uh, so, dia tak perlulah buat sendiri, senang kerja dia. Dia ambil saya punya, tapi nak ambil saya punya, dia side lah saya, <laughs> kan? So, benefit for peers. Dia senang dapat uh, material. Benefit for me, I get cited for this. Uh. Okay. Uh, cuma saya juga nak highlight, uh, bila dah online ni, saya tak cakap tadi, bila dah online ni, KS punya student evaluate at end of semester tu, KS maybe kena tengok balik kot. Uh, not sure. Uh, because dah lain lah kan, bila dah online ni, takkan set soalan yang sama untuk student evaluate the lecturer. Okay, uh, and then limitation. These are the limitation, uh, challenges, opportunities, innovation that we can uh, add into. Uh, the matrix itself is not in a digital form software, so maybe another paper on this, uh, maybe buat satu, satu simple tool. Uh, student and instructor might not get it uh, at first view. Uh, kalau tengok without, without explanation, memang susah juga nak faham. Uh, tapi bila dah explain tu, rasa eh ini saya tahu, ini memang kita buat, tapi oh ada tool ni, okey lah. Uh, uh, I think so lah. Eh. Uh, colleagues might not yet fully appreciate its usefulness or prefer more verbose lesson plan. So dia nak yang lebih banyak ayat, uh, dia nak ayat. Uh, tapi as far as I know, orang engineering, orang ICT ni dia nak simple-simple je kan. Uh, dia mechanistic sikit. Uh, so tak nak tapi orang PB, PBPI, PBTT maybe nak lebih banyak lah macam yang uh, UITM tadi tu kan uh, so tapi for me simpler is better lah uh, administrators might prefer progress report in terms of numbers uh, dalam ni tak ada numbers uh, but you can get the numbers lah uh, katalah learning material dekat page resources tu ada uh, katalah 12 you baru siap 6 so you baru 50% siap uh, macam tu Okay, limitation. Okay, so the main uh, references I mentioned is from IUCL, uh, IUCL, uh, ni Prof. Faizah punya gang lah yang buat uh, event ni kan. Uh, and then uh, this is a presentation session, 
Yang ni saya tak dapat nak site betul-betul. Uh, <laughs> yang ni uh, MAPTA, uh, I think pengurusi MAPTA, uh, Dr. Azhar, UMP. Uh, so official lah saya, saya rasa. Ha, ni memang official, uh, PPPA release uh, UTEM uh, OTLAC gitu. <laughs> Pencing Island ni assessment guideline. MQA. Uh, so dalam MQA, okay, ada, ada yang mention tadi uh, apa, sebab dah online, takkan nak buat berjam-jam kan. So actually dalam for MQA lah, bukan for professional body, saya tak sure PM Jaria boleh beritahu. MQA dia kata boleh kurangkan content. Uh, memang ada dalam guide ni memang sebut uh, boleh kurang uh, as long as CLO you boleh justify tercapai. Uh, so nak kurangkan content macam saya tadi, ada satu tu kemungkinan tak perlu pun. Ha, differentiate between the three styles of hybrid architecture. Hybrid architecture ada tiga jenis. So mungkin saya tak nak assess pun. So maybe this one I just put it there. Saya tak perlu buat apa-apa pun. Ha, tapi saya tak kasan benda ni without this plan. So bila ada plan saya perasan lah. Okay. Uh, and then question and answer. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Dr. Sazali Shah. A very interesting, a very interesting uh, and uh, I believe it will be beneficial for all. Uh, and it's actually, uh, we had to mention that our uh, webinar series at KAIS is planning uh, according to planning stage, delivery stage, assessment stage. So uh, in this uh, first series, uh, we are uh, tackling into the planning issues. Uh, so correct lah, uh, the content that uh, Dr. Sazarin has uh, shared with us is very much related to the planning and it is really timely for us to relook back on how we are designing and planning our teaching and learning activities. And uh, it was very interesting and uh, very beneficial uh, sharing with uh, with most relevant points taken. Uh, so I open to the audience uh, participants should have should we have uh, any question or needs uh, Dr. Sazrin to further uh, explain uh, his uh, sharing just now. can just unmute your mic and uh, ask, uh, uh, throw out the question. Semua, semua faham ke? <laughs> Hello. Ya, ada sesiapa nak uh, tanya tak? <laughs> semua dah faham eh? Dr. Shah. Yes, yes. Encik Syah ni kat sini. Okay. Yang, Syah, Syah, Syah. Syah. okay. Learning design metric ni dia ambil kira student learning style tak? Macam visual, auditory semua. Kena statik tak? Ambil kira tak yang tu? Uh, uh, okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Dr. Syah, uh, Syah Syarizan. Uh, as, as what I understand, uh, that's the purpose of the icon tu tadi tu. So icon tu uh, apa? daripada listening uh, apa viewing and so on tu partly address that lah so maknanya uh, you tak boleh bagi lecture saja uh, uh, ada kena static juga ada yang tangan tu kan ikon tangan tu uh, pun ada uh, cuma it's not directly uh, it's not directly there but it can be uh, apa it can be uh, deduced from that lah uh, saya rasa lah <laughs> uh. Okay, Dr. Shah. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay, yang ni ada di chat tu, uh, Dr. Sazli. Uh, yeah. Untuk problem-based learning yang biasanya ada hardware and software, subject empat kredit, what's your opinion? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ha, problem-based learning yang biasanya ada hardware and software, empat uh, kredit, what's your opinion? <laughs> okay, opinion je lah eh. <laughs> uh, for me pun, I have a problem with uh, hardware lah. Uh, but uh, I'm trying to convert into simulation lah for robot simulation. But I understand uh, from engineering, uh, ada lagi banyak hardware yang lain kan. So that one, I'm not quite sure what the university or the faculty is deciding. Uh, 
but I think uh, sebab kena power through juga, we just power through. But uh, untuk MQA lah, at least untuk MQA, there's a clause. Sebenarnya eh, uh, PM Jariah, uh, Prof. Faizah, ada clause dekat MQA punya guide is saying that uh, kalau kita ada certain part tak buat, uh, we can offer pengukuhan in the next semester or, or when when it can be done. So boleh buat pengukuhan, uh, sesi pengukuhan. Uh, it is allowable under MQA punya guide tu lah from what I understand. Uh, so maybe the university can have that have that uh, view lah. I'm not sure sebab uh, ada certain tu memang kalau tak ada apa susah juga kan. <laughs> sebab uh, psychomotor kan. Uh, okay uh, that that's uh, again one one point juga because psychomotor ni uh, ada juga diskan dengan Dr. Hairil. Uh, tapi uh, from my discussion with uh, Faculty of Education punya speakers, they, they kata uh, ada macam mana? macam mana? Tak, tak ada masalah lah kalau kita nak uh, kita nak apa nama assess uh, psychomotor dalam exam uh, dalam apa cara lain instead of observing. Uh, tapi as much as possible kena buat uh, apa nama psychomotor tu dalam lab lah. Uh, tapi kita buat ada CLO yang psychomotor actually. So macam mana tu? So we have to follow the guide. Guide kata boleh. So kita boleh je lah. So that's my opinion lah. Sebab kita pun tak nak complicated dengan keadaan. Tapi uh, my stress is that MQA guide uh, memang ada sebut uh, boleh ada option pengukuhan selepas. Uh, selepas dah berlaku ni kita boleh buat pengukuhan. Tapi uh, modus operandi nya tak sure lah. Itu kena discuss uh, sendirilah. Tapi UTAM saya tak tahu decision macam mana. Uh, Akuti saya uh, tak ada sangat itu hardware ni. Saya je. <laughs> okay, alright. Kalau kita tambah sikit. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, kalau saya boleh tambah sikit dalam perkelilian MQA, dia kata one of the clause tu, sekiranya ada subjek yang yang uh, memerlukan hardware kan. So mungkin that particular part tu dia boleh carry forward for the following semester lah. So maksudnya nanti dia punya result tu TS lah. Tidak selesai. Maksudnya yang lain-lain tu I mean kalau dia boleh soft guna simulasi is fine. Dan juga pengukuhan-pengukuhan lah macam yang uh, Dr. Shah sebut tadi. Maksudnya contoh video ke apa semua kan. Ataupun virtual reality ke whatever means lah. Tapi kalau still kena juga Uh, student tu pergi makmal, hari tu uh, top management dia dah ada bagi uh, apa senarai juga mana-mana student yang yang memang uh, perlu ke makmal. Mereka dah ada ambil hari tu eh, setiap fakulti. Jadi maksudnya ada justifikasi lah kenapa dia nak kena juga pergi ke makmal tu. Okay? So itu case by case lah. Thank you Prof. Faizah. Cuma uh, lagi satu saya rasa kan uh, sebab kita sekarang ni dalam arena kira remote remote teaching betul kan Syah? Uh -huh. Kira dalam remote teaching ni sebenarnya dia ada banyak uh, banyak kreativiti <laughs> yang pesyarah boleh buat lah ya. Sebab kalau kita tengok dekat webinar pun ada banyak sharing kan. So meaning that uh, yang penting kita pastikan uh, kita kita semak dulu sama ada kita punya profil pelajar tu what is dia punya bandwidth ya yeah? so maksudnya bandwidth tu sama ada kita nak segera tak segera tadi itulah synchronous tak synchronous tu sebab dia ikutkan dalam uh, teknologi tu is just a tool sebenarnya tapi it doesn't mean tak ada teknologi learning doesn't happen ya yeah? so itu yang kita nak the mentality of the uh, academic tu kena kena betul lah ya yeah? Jadi saya harap sangat yang pesyarah-pesyarah lain uh, bersama dengan KAIS sebab kita dua minggu ni memang kita special dedicated all the series ni kita buat memang untuk staff UTEM sahaja. Kita ada ramai yang request daripada luar tapi kita uh, kita kita nak bagi fokus pada staff UTEM lah supaya kita uh, kukuhkan kita punya understanding ya eh? supaya tak ada panic goji tadi tu lah. So I like uh, the metric yang uh, Asher tadi tu. Okay. So that is one of the creativity that we are looking forward sebenarnya uh, banyak lagi creativity daripada pesyarah-pesyarah kita eh. Supaya nanti uh, 
uh, that proof to is sebenarnya uh, the courses yang kami organize yang Dr Shah dan kawan-kawan join tu maksudnya you apply in the classroom jangan datang hanya for the sake of CPD sajalah so that that is the outcome something yang measurable yang we can see the 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 impact so i i would like to say on behalf of kais thank you to dr shah sebab practice apa yang you all dah belajar ya yeah? baru baru nak practice prof faiza <laughs> belajar minggu 3 practice uh. is start ya yeah? biar biar buat jangan tak buat <laughs> Itulah, tu, tu saya kata at least, at least saya ada plan kan. Delivery tu kena belajar dengan PM Jariah lah. <laughs> uh, uh, PM Jariah, Prof. Uh, saya ada a short uh, survey. Saya, kalau boleh uh, attendee boleh jawab. Uh, apa eh, uh, minta orang jawab ni PM Jariah? Boleh, boleh. Uh, maksudnya nak share bila hari sekarang ke? Saya share dekat chat, chat ni eh. Okay. Alright. So, uh, dia dua soalan je. Uh, just nak tahu your feedback uh, about what I have presented lah. Uh, whether you think it is useful uh, or and, and uh, would you like to adopt it and adapt it for your course lah. Uh, dua soalan pendek je. So, kalau boleh jawab uh, ni. Uh, uh, Natasha. Yes, yes. Analisis lepas ni satu paper tau. Kena present lah satu paper ni. <laughs> Ah, yang <laughs> paper yang ini pun tak siap lagi. <laughs> Dengan draft lagi. Yang tu pun tak siap lagi. Uh, itu dah. Dr. Syah, dah Dr. Syah um, ada soalan di chat tu boleh tengok. Ada ah, soalan saya nak tu. cover, saya nampak ada dua soalan ni tadi. Dia, ta dia tanya mana tadi eh? Aidawati. Uh, uh, learning design matrix tadi tu boleh bagi pada student juga ke? Ya. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, tapi for me, uh, simplify kan. Simplify kan. Sebab orang pun uh, tak ada lah faham semua sangat kan. So maybe yang assessment tu, maybe you uh, blank out kan. Uh, tapi for, uh, pada saya, uh, share lah. Share, share dengan student. Uh, but uh, version of simplify lah. Uh, ada yang tanya tadi, can I share the, the apa nama tu? The learning design matrix yang saya buat tu. Yes. Uh, I will put it up later. Uh, tapi macam mana nak share pun, uh, nak bagi tahu orang pun saya tak tahu. Kak S lah tolong bagi tahu kot eh. Okey. Uh, di dalam slide kan. Nanti kita dalam slide tu uh, boleh uh, boleh dapat akses kot. Dalam slide Dr. Shah tu. Uh, Okey ni ada soalan yang so, uh, satu lagi daripada Dr. Kamarudin ni. Dengan video aktiviti dan assessment dijalankan secara online adakah jadual SLT seperti dalam salah satu slide yang ditunjukkan di awal tadi, mesti berubah atau formatnya perlu ditambah baik? Nampak soalan dia. Uh, daripada yang, daripada Encik Kamaruddin. Okay. Ha, uh, aktiviti assessment dijalankan secara okay. nak dekat jadual SLT seperti Okay, as I mentioned dekat slide SLT tadi, uh, is uh, for me, what I have done is for each lesson, is still under 2 jam tu. Uh, kalau saya boleh share balik slide, boleh ke? Boleh, boleh. Dr. Suzani boleh share. Okey, saya tengah cuba. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, boleh tak? Uh, du -du 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 -du. Nampak ke? Okay. Nampak, nampak. PowerPoint punya version. <laughs> Okey, yang SLT tu tadi, uh, this one kan? Uh, so, uh, as I mentioned, yang uh, learning design matrix tu, uh, TLDMO saya panggil, uh, is only covering guided learning time ni saja. Uh, and of course, we started okay. with, with week 6. Nampak ke? Tersia belum keluar lagi. Eh, tak nampak eh? Tak keluar lagi. Dengan buffering ke? Eh, jangan lupa jawab satu saya tu. Okey. Dah nampak dah? Nampak muka. Cuba share balik, doktor. Macam mana? Kenapa? Kenapa? 
Boleh share ke? Um, Dr. Sazali dia low bandwidth tu? Dia macam dia tak keluar? Ya, ya, ya. Haa. Sebab semal, uh, malam tadi pun dia ada cakap area dia tu ada apa? Band problem. Sekejap ada, sekejap tak ada. Sampai tu apa? Ah, okay, sorry, sorry. Ter, dia terdisconnect lah. Haa, ah, okay. Bandwidth problem. Okay. So, Uh, tapi uh, kalau you tengok SLT slide saya tu, SLT tu, uh, the SLT table tu macam tu juga. Tak ada ubah apa pun. Cuma uh, as I mentioned uh, dan juga kata silap PPPA pun ada cakap hari tu uh, sebab saya jantan asal OBE. Uh, just uh, uh, notekan kat situ starting week 6 jadi online. Uh, so starting week 6 dah jadi online uh, for the guided learning time and also assessment time. Uh, so just note kat situ lah. Uh, so that is what I think uh, should be done lah. Uh, tapi kena refer juga fakulti punya decision. <laughs> Betul. Yang jari lah. Hello? Sorry. Yang yang on how uh, university are taking into tu kita uh, rasa pengarah PPPA tu uh, uh, apa Dr. Hairil apa semua nanti akan apa pihak universiti akan uh, ambil Uh, langkah lah kot. Okay, kita tunggulah nanti uh, sharing uh, on how, the guideline and so on. Officially. Buat masa ni mungkin fakulti akan ambil uh, langkah masing-masing dulu lah kan? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Itu, itu yang saya faham lah. Okay. Uh, ni soalan Dr. Fatima. Pertukaran SLT dan kaedah penilaian akan kena tukar dalam teaching online plan dan OBE. Sistem akan dibuka ke untuk tujuan ni? Ha, yang tu pun sepatutnya kan? Ha, PPPA sepatutnya boleh dibuka lah. For sure lah. Tak, saya dah fahamkan uh, akan buka, akan dibuka semula minggu ni. Tak sure kena tanya Dr. Hairan PPPA. <laughs> Itu final decision dekat dia orang. Okay. Alright. So macam mana kita uh, dah pukul 4-4 minit. Uh, ada burning question ke? Semua faham ke? Eh? Ah, <laughs> InsyaAllah. Terus saya, saya ada share dekat chat tu again the, the apa nama, the the doi for the yes. presentation slide. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, so, uh, kita boleh buat sikit summary eh. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, jadi, uh, on behalf of Kak Is and uh, all the participants, We thanks uh, we thank uh, a lot to Dr Sazalin Shah for sharing with us. We learn much uh, and actually uh, it's true lah kan yang P, uh, PKP ni buat kita lebih kreatif kan. <laughs> Lepas ni semua oh, tu betul. adapt a uh, new norm lah. New norm in teaching kita dah tak pakai apa a uh, teaching plan dah kita kena pakai uh, apa selain daripada teaching plan tu kita kena pakai apa learning design matrix lah. Okay, with all the symbol-symbol tu kan. Lagi banyak le uh, learning channel lagi lagi apa uh, lagi bagus lah learning experience. Uh, so uh, siapa siapa yang attend uh, this uh, sem, uh, apa this webinar kita ada terminologi baru lah on how to adapt which is le l l m d ya t l d m o ha, itu boleh ke pakai tu tu ada di o i tak tahu tu <laughs> dah check mark dah tu okey saya, saya saya letak je dulu nama t l t l d m o uh, tengah <laughs> nanti discuss dengan Dr Rasmaliza lah saya bagi nama saya suka bagi short form Hopefully, okay. hopefully yang nanti ada official publication, hopefully. Okay. Uh, uh, ini, uh, I think uh, this is uh, uh, shown to us on how uh, we can be more creative and we, uh, if we really sincere in considering our teaching, okay, and how to make sure that the teaching achieve 
uh, the intended outcome, considering much our students, this sort of creativities will will bloom uh, as what uh, we have uh, we have uh, seen today. Uh, we should plan the learning experience from the perspective of student learning. Uh, considering the nine uh, guidelines, yeah, instruction, eh, okay, and then uh, come up with the learning design matrix, and then deliver, and then uh, we can see the benefit, inshallah. Okay, we look forward uh, uh, for Dr. Sazlin to implement and uh, maybe, <laughs> and for sure, uh, we shall uh, learn more from you. Because you are pioneering this uh, this uh, effort. Okay. Thank saya you. Saya adapt saja. Saya adapt saja. Delivery kena tanya PM Jariah. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 for, for the delivery, we have uh, the next session yang hebat-hebat uh, ni. Yang kita dah kata apa. Uh, this all uh, apa, future academic leaders. Kita ada Dr. Zakiah, kita ada PM Dr. Azma Putra, kita ada siapa lagi? Uh, uh, Dr. Mas Paliza and so on for the series. Okay, uh, so uh, stay with us, uh, with KAIS uh, every webinar session in the morning uh, and we shall uh, update the lesson, uh, apa, the webinar sharing session ni in info you time and uh, join us, uh, insyaAllah. Okay, for today, thank you Dr. Sazerin once again. Uh, Alhamdulillah. And to all, thank you also for joining uh, KAE session. We hope uh, we, have, uh, we already learned together on how to uh, better our teaching and learning uh, and to uh, fulfill our responsibility as an educator. Uh, InshaAllah. Thank you. Look forward uh, to meet you all in the next session.